Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be replacing some more rotten wood. So the sill plate, at least I think that's what you call it. Basically the, the framing that goes along the foundation of the uh, camper has been uh, water damaged quite a bit and we're gonna have to get in here and get it replaced so we can start building these walls back again. Um, the problem that we've had is there's so much water damage from top to bottom that as I've been tearing out stuff, I've been discovering more and more problems. So what we're going to do is go ahead and kind of address it from the bottom up and get these sill plates replaced, get any rotten framing replaced that needs to be done, and then we can go in with the, uh, the decking and the studs in the walls and all that good stuff. So let's take a look and see what we've got going. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this awning and all the brackets and hardware. Um, it's not gonna be good over here either. This is separated, you know, the wood's gonna be rotten. There's probably no doubt about it. And then the step here, uh-oh, uh -oh, got my helper. He's trying to get things done with us. Uh, the step is also, you can see this bolt's pulled through. Somebody stepped on the side of it, and that was obviously rotten. You can see some rust around it, and that is pulled through there. This is going to come off here, which is already rotting off. And unfortunately, more of the same over here. This one had come completely off, rusted through. So, you know, that's going to be rotten under there. Looks like this has probably been leaking. All this trim's loose. That's obviously gonna be rotted out. Let's see here. Maybe, maybe not. See our garbage pile. To be honest with you, this antenna's gone. Uh, I'm not putting it back on there. I don't, uh, I don't use TV antenna. I don't need a reception. If I need something like that, I'll just throw up some bunny ears or something like that nature. That's where we're at. A lot to replace. Even little things like this. I don't know if there's any sort of, how much of an access point or a breach point could be under there, but that would be a concern. <clears throat> oh my. So, uh, there's gonna be a lot to fix. This is all loose as well. Ridiculous, right? We'll see what we get into. Tearing it apart's mostly time, so let me get that leak up there. We gotta get that fixed. My, my, my. It would almost be easier to build one from scratch. I guess once I tear this apart and put it all back together, I'll be able to make that determination. So on to the next step, let's remove the awning. I'll let you make the call out of the screws that were left, which were only three. One was completely out and two were half out. You can see the bottom two thirds, three fourths of those completely rusted. So <sighs> it's gonna be something else. Let's hop up and uh, unbolt these. I probably did it backwards. I don't know. That one's done and this one is done. So let's get up on the ladder and see if we can get the top unbolted. Well, the wow. awning is off. Could have been worse, but it definitely could have come off easier if I had extra hands. Took a little bit of uh, ingenuity to get that to come off there without destroying everything. So uh, just to give you an idea of what I deal with, the dog that you always hear barking, let me give you an idea where he's at. That's right. He climbs a ladder. I'm not talking about a ladder, I'm talking about like straight up and down ladder. And he can see over my fence and he gives me the business when I'm out here working. So every once in a while he'll go back inside through his doggy door, but then he'll come right back out and start giving me fits. My apologies, I've tried to reason with him, but he does not budge. He is not up for negotiations. I have this um, this board down here removed now that goes underneath the uh, decking and ties into these uh, vertical or linear or whatever these floor joists are that run lengthwise of the camper. You can see down here, this one's rotted out, so I'm gonna have to replace that. But the rest of these, slight discoloration, but not bad. That one down there is gonna need to be replaced and then on down a little bit further needs a little help, but you can see where the plywood here has rotted out. So I'm gonna be repla replacing this section. Um, I'm not sure how far back I'm gonna go. I guess I'll go all the way over to this, this uh, support right here. Anyways, um, there's screws that come in. You can see one of the screws right there that uh, it was rusted. So the head was spinning on it. So I had to just 
cut it underneath with the multi-tool. But the rest of these, wherever those are, I screwed them out. And then I had to run a jigsaw in between the plywood and this board because there's so many staples in it. Um, you can see those staples there. So there's a lot of those coming from the, through the plywood into those, uh, into that two by or whatever dimensions it is. So I had to cut all of those out. I pulled this section out and you can see how rotten it was, right? So I'm gonna keep working my way around. Um, fortunately, this gets better once we get over here towards the, um, towards the door. And then we'll have a stretch of decent wood to work with. So I'm looking forward to that. But uh, let's keep going here. I'm gonna empty all this out here in a minute and start ripping this flooring out because I know it, it has to come as well. We got the linoleum ripped up cut out of here now and you can really see the damage in this back corner. This is one piece here. So I'll remove it and then I've got a cut here um, or a line marked I should say where I'm going to make a cut here to remove this portion. So that's the next step. This is the uh, stor storage, uh, the right rear quarter panel I guess if you want to call it that corner of the camper so that's the next thing on the list to do all right I'm working my way around getting all this rotten stuff out of here I've had to expose all of this because obviously we have a strip of rotten wood plywood uh, it's not deep but it's bad enough right so and it goes approximately to right there and then we have good wood at least for a little while I'm gonna have to pull the door out you know one thing leads to another right that's okay so I've gone ahead and removed all these screws you can see the screw holes here they go all the way up and then there's a little gutter that goes over the top, which exposes more sh screws. And you can see all the way down here. And then on the inside of the door frame, there's some screws ever so often, right? That holds that in. So that's what I'm doing. I've got one screw left and then I'm gonna pull this door off, um, which will get me access to this under here. And hopefully I'll get all that replaced. Just a quick update, the door came out, no problem. Uh, pretty easy. So just unscrewed everything, pulled it on out. As you can see, I still have some of the uh, EPDM roofing to trim off there, but I'm waiting. No rush on that. Obviously, uh, butyl tape's gonna have to be uh, replaced, but that's that goes without saying. I've got new handles and all that kind of stuff coming in. New lights and reflectors, LED. Just because it was cheap and I needed some anyway, so I went ahead and bought a full kit, but I know this thing looks like a wreck, but I'm still optimistic that it's all gonna come back together, no problem. I'm sure there'll be hiccups along the way, but I think it's still gonna work out, so. The one thing I am curious is how I'm going to reinstall these lag bolts. They go into the frame rail, the metal frame rail, screwed through, in this case, um, that two by three or whatever that board is that comes across right here. However, most of the time, wherever there's a metal frame rail running horizontally, there's also a vertical stud that um, is gonna be in the way of me bolting that to it. So I need to figure out a, a solution to be able to bolt that through the frame rail underneath here into this. So um, we'll work through it though. No big deal, we'll find a solution, but that's where we're at right now. All right, we're doing a little more work on the outside. As you can see, this board that runs along and bolts to the frame. Um, there's a carriage bolt that sits in right here, goes down through that frame rail, and then ties in with that nut there. This board's good, but until we get down here, and you can see it is completely gone. Now, it's no problem removing these because they've rusted through, right? And that board's gone. Usually what happens is the head of this carriage bolt sits on top of that two by, and then the floor decking sits on top of it. So the head of it is sandwiched in between the two, um, which makes it difficult to access. You can't remove it, or at least I don't know how. Maybe it's possible. For instance, you can see, here's this one here bolted to this frame, and you can see the uh, head of that carriage bolt right there between you know you have this board you have this floor decking and then you have this sill plate here um, anyway so I think I'm gonna take a sawzall and try to run it through and cut these off so I have to get that done so I can uh, 
finish putting the flooring in and getting this stuff buttoned up. I have this bottom board removed now. It actually came out a little easier than I thought, not too bad. So we've got this out. Now what I need to do is I'm gonna have to go rip a, a two by four because these are a weird size. And then um, I'll get it fitted in there. We'll bolt everything back up to these frame rails. And then typically what I do, once I get that in place, that's how I line up any floor decking or plywood. I will just slide it in over the top of that two by to get it into place. So that's kind of what I do there. This thing, you know, it's, it's completely rotten under here. So we're gonna have to take a look at that. But what I'm gonna do first is replace this main board here that supports all this weight on this side, get that shored up, and then we'll worry about tearing into this and getting the plywood replaced. So I'm not sure what, how much flooring is gonna need to come out, but we'll uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. All right, I have my two by cut to length, 10 foot four inches and I have it ripped down to the um, proper height. Uh, this actual piece measures two and a half by one and a half true. So I just took a um, 12 foot two by, cut it down and then ripped off uh, enough to get my two and a half inch width that I was, or height that I was looking for. So what we're gonna do now is see if we can get it fit, fit it under there and get everything in place. Get this fit into place. Um, looks pretty good. Everything lined up pretty well. Um, obviously, we've got all this damage down here that'll have to be fixed. But first step's this. I don't know if that's the right procedure or uh, process, but that's how I did it on the other side, and it seemed to work fine. I did it on the back as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing secured, bolt it into place, get some screws in there as well, and. Um, continue on. All right, just a little bit of an update here. As I mentioned earlier, I've got this board replaced. I went ahead and ripped out all the decking inside this pass-through storage because we had some rotten wood. I've replaced this uh, board here. That's new. And then obviously the, this board on both sides is brand new front to back, actually all the way around the entire camper, which is all secured to the frame, bolted in, and then the sill plate, I've got screws going in through the sill plate, through the decking into the this main board here that goes around the frame. So that should be solid. There was a couple of rotten two bys that I cut out the rotten sections. And then what I did is I just scabbed in a two by to um, add that frame support there. Did the same thing over here. So this is all new. Those will be run into there and this will all be tied in. I got to screw in some fasteners from that side tomorrow when I peel this front cap off, but then we are going to put new decking in this tomorrow. So once I get the new decking in, I've got just a few more pieces of wood to replace up under here. You can see, so this will get replaced tomorrow and that should be all wood. Everything should be replaced that's rotten which is a good feeling. So all the wood will be done. I can go ahead and finish putting the siding back on and actually button up the exterior caulk, make sure everything's sealed, redo all the windows, all of that good stuff and get it the way it's supposed to be. Then I can focus on the inside, mainly the slide. So the slide's built. I still have to skin it with the aluminum and the fiberglass side pieces and the roofing material and all that. But, um, it's gonna be going back in here, which has been rebuilt. There's a likelihood I'll have to make some adjustments once we get it in, but that's okay. I've got new P-shaped P uh, wiper sill that come in, so I'll be putting new gaskets on all this. And then hopefully we can get everything fitted properly, get the slide back working, get that all waterproofed, cross our fingers it all goes back together. Then it's merely gonna be finishing out the interior. So. Uh, that's going to result in um, going ahead and priming everything, pulling everything out we don't want painted, 
uh, stripping down things that do need to be, taping off stuff, and then painting it. We went ahead and primed this, and I shot one coat of, I think it's a satin finish, just a white. I forget the name of it. In here, uh, this is the door that's going back. You can see some of the trim that I've replaced. Now this is the old seam tape. Um, don't worry about that. We're gonna go back with a, a tile backsplash that's gonna cover all that up. Anything that's above the cabinet line, so we're not gonna worry about that. Pretty much anywhere there's a seam, I'm either gonna throw a little piece of trim over it or it's gonna be covered up. So, yep, that's what we've got left. So we'll check back in with you later.